So hi. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? I am fine. That's nice. So how's your day? It's so chill. Oh, okay. And your? Me, I had a usual day. Monday, right? Yes, Regular yes, Monday. yes. Yeah. Okay. So have you been through the session material for today? Yes, I had a glance on session material. Okay, uh, so you're comfortable with the topic given or you want to talk yes. about something else? I'm comfortable with that topic. Okay, then great. So we'll just jump right into the topic, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, so what do you think about the topic? Would you rather be able to talk with animals or speak all the foreign languages? All the foreign languages, like a polyglot, right? I'm sorry, what's that? Poly? Who's, who speak all foreign language, what is called polyglot. Okay, who speaks, you mean? Yes, who speak, who know all foreign languages. More okay. than one. Okay. Okay, I haven't heard of that name, but... Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, I want to learn all foreign languages. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Because because it's diversify my knowledge. I know more about uh, language, not about language, but language also help to know about the culture, right? Okay. Culture that's about nice. history. That's thing I want to know, and uh, I read all of languages books, right? It's helped me a lot. If I visit any foreign country, then it also helped me to know their languages, know their local languages. Yeah, actually that would yes. help, right? Yes, and the animal language is what you can also understood. They are not understand because they are all emotional. When dog is hungry, they barking, right? When they yeah. see any anything, they start barking. Then how they will know? about feel the animal languages, what they want to talk actually. You said you can understood. Uh, it's understood. You can understand. Understand. Understand, yeah. right? Yeah, it's understand. You use the understand. past tense. Yes, yes. Be, uh, understand, yeah. Okay. Same mistake I do again and again. <laughs> um, yeah, I, you, uh, you yes. kind of are. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. You'll improve. It'll take time. Yes. Okay, let's say uh, you. Okay, buy... it's, it's, it's all about foreign language, right? Not Indian languages. Yeah. Foreign I mean, language. if it's oh. foreign language, let's just say you, you get to know all the languages, including all the regional languages in India. I think, I think it, it's very difficult to learn every language because we Indian have 22 national languages. We twenty-two Indian. national. We Indians have twenty-two national languages. Oh, and okay. It's very difficult to know all languages, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And how many languages do you know now? I know, of course, I know Bengali. Okay. And I know Hindi. Okay. I know Assam a little bit. Okay. Assamese? Uh, yes, Assamese, 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 okay. Assamese language because uh, the, the alphabet is same. Oh, okay. And pronunciation is different. Okay, okay. So if you know Bengali or Assamese, you already, want, if you are try, then you already know another language. It's not so difficult. And you, how many languages do you know? Let me see. I know English. I know Kannada. I know Tamil. Uh, I I can do French a little. So yeah, I think so. French. What is your vernacular language? Uh, um, my native tongue. Yes, yes, native, native, native it's, language. It's, it's Tamil and Kannada because uh, my father's Tamil and my mother's Kannada. Oh, I know Tamil a little bit. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's nice. They say Tamil is the toughest language. 
But if you like no, know one of the Malayalam. languages, Malayalam is the toughest, I think. Malayalam. Uh, it's all yes. the same. Like if you learn one of the uh, languages in the south, it will be easy for you to learn the other languages in the south because they more or less sound the same. Like Malayalam is very similar to Tamil. Like if you know Tamil, you will know like Malayalam and Kannada and uh, Telugu. Like they're very similar. Okay. Yeah. But uh, do you know Sanskrit? No, I don't. I I don't know Hindi also. I mean, I did learn oh. Hindi, but then I find it tough. I found it tough personally. Okay. Because uh, Sanskrit has the original languages of Hindi and Bengali. Oh, okay. Do you know Sanskrit? Have you learned at any point in your life? Not uh, yes, actually, uh, I read this language in five and six in my school days. In fifth and six, uh, no, fifth and six Hindi, sorry, fifth and six Hindi, and seven and eight. We learn Sanskrit. No, okay, how is it? Is it tough compared to other languages? Yes, tough. Devnagari script. Okay, okay. Uh, is it is it true that it's similar to Hindi? Little bit. Hindi is easy. Okay, okay. Hindi is easier than Sanskrit. Okay, okay. Uh, do, do, uh, had you ever thought about learning some language? Yes, I, yes, I know Tamil little bit. That's no. Uh, any other language that like you really want to learn? Uh, Spanish. Okay, why Spanish? Spanish? because it's very versatile languages after English. It's a versatile language. Language, language, language. Because language. we have the word Spanish here, yeah. Language. Yeah. And uh, also Chinese languages. It's also versatile. Mandarin, yeah. Mandarin language. Yeah, Mandarin. Mandarin, Mandarin. Yeah. You need to work oh. on your pronunciations. Uh, like you say because, and I think because. you say because. Yeah, and now it's right. Now it's right. And say no, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Yeah, it's better now. Now when I go to flow, it's become sometimes. Yeah, when you go wrong. with the flow. Yes, yes, yes. That's fine. Just be a little conscious next time. Okay, okay. Uh, what is the meaning of okay? I tell um, grant G R A N T G R U N T in the session. Grant, okay, it's, it's a kind of expression like uh, we'll say, like, why did you grunt, man? Grunt is like, hmm, that's grunting. Okay. Okay, okay. It's a, it's a sort, sort of human expression, emotion. Okay, short amount of time. Right. I'm sorry? Short amount of time. No, it's it's a human expression. Okay, grunt. Like, grunt. Grunt. Yeah, why are you grunting, uh, man? The teacher okay. is always grunting, something like that. It's, it's, like, it's like being angry or being happy. Like you say, why are you smiling, right? Like smiling, that is an expression. That's how grunting is. It's sort of an um, human emotion like of expression. Okay. okay. Um, so let's say you know all the language, languages in the world. So now which job would you go for? In such a circumstance? Of course, of course, language trainer. Language speaker, right? Okay, <laughs> okay. So you tutor languages? Yes, language tutor. Okay, okay. But uh, why don't you choose uh, talking to animals? So why don't you choose animal language? Uh, animal languages, I think, if you a little bit conscious to them or you love them, then you definitely understand what they are saying, right? 
yes. uh, because because except dog cat uh, or an other animal language is very difficult to learn we can learn parrot languages what they actually say what they actually say and uh, another animal is like cow goat right yeah you said except dog and cat when except you say dog and... except dogs you have to say except dogs and cats if you want to use the singular words of dog and cat you'll have to say except for a dog and a cat since okay. you do not use a there it means it's plural so you'll have to use except dogs and cats okay okay yeah um so do you think animals have a language of their own do you, do you think that they speak to each other with it yes so like a dog we see right they start barking and other dog also start barking the when they don't found another dogs and sometimes cow also and they don't find what them. what did the is the cow sounds called moo they moo moo mo. yes yeah, yes moo moo or moo moo yes moo yeah m o w cow m o w yeah so if, if let's just say you have a task of convincing people that animals talk now how would you try convincing them like okay try convincing me please repeat the question yeah yeah no problem let's say uh, you have to convince someone else that animals can actually speak to each other how would you go about convincing them okay i tell you that uh, animal have a emotion also like human like human mm -hmm. and uh, they can speak with each other on their own languages so they don't uh, speak in like their own language in the they don't speak like human so they have a, a certain expression then we we need to understand 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 that okay. right Mm, and uh, yeah. if you if you observe that in a whole day or uh, sometimes you also learn that how they speak right yeah. so you need to spend time on, on with them like uh, when a child uh, they he have a dog right and when say go go to an exercise the dog also copy them do the same thing that's true yeah. when he go for bath dog also do the same thing when he run dog also do the same thing right yeah because a dog dog or cat they also learn human yeah when you say dog you have to be like since you're talking about the same dog you have to use the dog now the dog the dog yeah also you have to concentrate on your use of articles when i mean articles i mean o and the okay okay now well, i think i uh, like i see that most of the time you skip out the use of articles you that directly go go to the noun or to the pronoun so next time like be sure should i use er here or the here okay okay and okay. you should also uh, take care when using prepositions like in on with about and all that okay article in preposition okay yeah that's right okay 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 that's cool so um, do you think it's necessary that everyone should know at least one foreign language yes any one foreign languages because languages also don't know for um, your knowledge but also diversify your knowledge right if you get, then when you try to learn any another languages then you already know two three languages then it helps a lot to learn that languages right yeah. you can think two three languages then it helps that's true do you think do you consider english as a foreign language or do you think it's like mandatory to know english in india it's mandatory to know 
because when you they read anything in computer or go to the net then everything is in indian languages and if, if you go to any other state then their vernacular languages and english is compulsory right if you know english then if you go anywhere you can read at least and interact with people also yeah right even though like english is a foreign language since um everything like everything is being communicated in english i think it's very necessary to know that necessary to know yeah although the uh, our sanskrit mm-hmm. and tamil or south indian language they are older than english but now english is become popular right yeah that's right i even heard that the chinese people right since the chinese are like the top in the richest right and they are involved a lot in stock market and business and almost everything the americans are making it compulsory in their country for upcoming students to learn chinese as one of yes chinese is language. actually business language yeah that's right they are very good in business if they yeah. want the chinese people they are starting business so and uh, chinese is for traveling language what is for traveling language spanish 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 okay spanish. i guess like the only speak spanish in spain is it like spoken on all, all over the world is it as all over the as world english? yes okay. uh, actually okay. uh, chinese then english then spanish i think Oh, okay, now that's news to me. I didn't know that. Yes, Chinese is most popular than English and Spanish. Okay. Okay. So Chinese people are cover approx uh, most most part of the world. Yeah, they they found in almost all the corners, that's right? Uh, okay, Fatha, I'll have to like uh, say that we are, have another minute for the session to end. So before that, I'll, I'll just sum up on the errors that you made. Uh, so you need to work on your present and your past tense. I see that you're mixing it up. Your singular and your plural. Your pronunciations of the words because, pronunciation, and observe. Article to okay. use. Okay. no like i'm telling you you pronounce these wrongly the words okay, are okay, because okay. pronunciation and observe okay? okay okay and you need to work on your prepositions and articles like i said before but i think you've improved 